Ooh. All right, so next, I'm gonna do this terracotta nouveau piece. All right, so what I have here is a natural brass blank that has been pre-embossed through the Vintage Big Kick with one of the Deco embossed folders. So it's gonna start out like that. Okay. And so for this one, I'm gonna be using the Painted Barn. So that's using earth, garnet, and marble. So I've got a nice red that brown, and then the white. So when I'm using the patinas, um, I usually never use just one color. If you look up on that board right there, um, all of the colors that have three next to each other, they are just the single color, which is still really pretty. I just like um, having that nice highlighted variance in my piece. So just grab the patina. And then that white is just gonna highlight that color that's already in there. So these patinas last a long time. Um, I still have my first set that I've been that I've used. So um, it's crazy because I replicate jewelry and I'll do big projects like boxes and um, canvas with them and I still have it. So they last a long time. Okay. So same thing as before. I'm just going to speed up the drying process. And before I relief, I want to make sure that it's not completely dry because they are completely permanent to the metals. So you want it to be a little tacky before you relief off the surface. And then the dark side of the reliefing block, that's going to be the heaviest grit. <clears throat> okay, so then there's that step. So reliefing brought that embossed pattern back through to the front from behind the patina. Okay. So for this one, I'm going to create um, a little glaze over the top, and I'll be using the UD. So this is the ultra thick embossing enamel. So you just take your spoon and you're just going to put the enamel in the middle of the piece and then that's going to heat up in the melting pot and it will spread across the whole piece and coat that. So then you can put the lid over the top and trap that heat in there. Speed that, that up a little bit. So let's check on that. So if you look closely, you can see it's starting to melt around the edges, and then all of the UD from the center will melt as well, and it'll keep dispersing across that piece. And another thing I love about the patina is that it's super easy to clean up off your craft sheet. You can wipe it and it just, I know, they're so awesome. And it's the same material that's in the craft insert. Okay. 
So then I'm going to pull that out and see how some of that beauty has been pulling up around the sides. I'm just going to take it in its hole and I'm going to pull it out of the beauty. So I just slide it and then that gets rid of all the excess beauty. So let that dry a little bit. And so then what I'm going to do after this is I'm going to actually give it a matte finish. So once that is cooled off, I will rub across the surface and then it's going to make it look a lot more antique look. So it's going to be really cool. So then you can check on that with your bead all. So you just tap it and if it sticks to your bead all or your fingernail or your pencil then it's not ready, but then you can make sure it's hard and you touch it. So that's ready to go. So then I'm just gonna go in circular motions and get that top sanded. <laughs> no. It's just your normal, yeah, steel the wool. finest yeah. steel wool. Okay, so then there's that. Yeah, and so then another cool thing about this is if you don't like that matte look, you can put it back in the pot and add a little more UD, and that's gonna reactivate and it'll make it shiny again. So I put the lid underneath it just so it stays level, um, so that UD disperses evenly across the surface. And then you can just take a piece of paper or anything flat and just trap that heat in there. <laughs> yeah. So if you look at that, that's become shiny again. So it's really cool, really forgiving. <clears throat> okay. So then I'll pull that out and put that off to the side. And then later I'm going to add the filigree. So this is just upscaling the blank a little bit. So same thing. I'm just going to highlight those raised areas with that white side of the block. Okay. And I'm going to center that on the filigree. And then I'm going to take the chain nose pliers and grab that section and crimp. So it might move around a bit so you can just recenter it. So don't be afraid to hurt the metal. Um, you're going to want to pinch it pretty hard to your piece so it stays secure. Okay. So then there's that.